Good morning. Today we're here at Sam's Club. We are going to check out a lot of the stock, make sure they're getting in a lot of items that you have been asking about. Uh, Sam's Club, we get the question all the time, is Sam's Club still worth it? I believe it is. Uh, we shop a lot here at Sam's Club. A lot of uh, canned goods that we like to stock up on, put it in our preps, make sure that we have uh, you know, a, enough stock to where if something happens, we've been hearing about some food shortages coming up here in the near future. Whether they do or not, it's always good to be prepared. Let's get to it. Okay, everyone, as we come into Sam's Club, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. We do these videos every day to try and help save you money. Um, one question we've been getting a lot uh, at Sam's Club, people were asking me if ours has changed a little bit. It has. They've added an extra aisle here where there used to be food. Now this, this aisle here, you know, normally would have food on both sides. They've added all these fans and things. And why this is important, we're curious, you know, if they're getting rid of some different foods. I don't know. We'll have to look around. I'm sure I'll notice right away. It has been a little while since we've been to Sam's Club. One thing I will say is Sam's Club has been moving things around. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're getting rid of different food items. They might just be packing them in in spots of items that they're not getting things anymore. That's another thing we're gonna kinda of look for today. Maybe some companies have gone out of business. That's not uncommon uh, in these days. You know, a few years ago, it was really hard for a lot of different companies uh, to stay afloat. So we're gonna look around, see what we see. I'm gonna focus a lot on things that people have been asking about. We're gonna check out some of the meat prices, produce, stuff like that. But yeah, I, I don't know. First glance here, it does look like some stuff is missing. I will say things here in the snack area, pretty much the front of Sam's Club here, definitely a lot less than they normally have. And I'm seeing different things, but Sam's Club's always getting in new things. One thing I am noticing here right away is a lot of this is kind of unorganized. Like if you see here, like I can't even get to the chips, can't even get to the chips back here. So I don't know, maybe they are moving things around. Like I was saying, there's, there's a lot of stuff that a lot of different companies aren't getting in anymore. There's a lot of companies that have gone out of business. Now, obviously, Doritos and Fritos haven't, but they're moving things around uh, to fill in the space, I, I would assume. But I'm not really sure. These are things we normally don't check when we come to Sam's Club. Also, these peanuts are never in this spot. They're usually way over here where all the other peanuts are, and I see them back there. We'll check that out here in a few. Okay, so... I don't want to say this is scary looking because I assume that they're working things out here. I, I can't pinpoint what items they are because they're still the same things in these aisles here. But continuing to look around here, here's some of the brown cane sugar people were saying there was a shortage of. Yeah, there's none. None here. This is the member's mark, seven pounds for $6.48. Same price as it's always been. Well, it used to be $5.98, but everything's gone up since then still $17.68 for the 25 pounds of domino sugar sugar has been skyrocketing in price lately so this is something you may want to consider stocking up on uh, this was one that was listed in the shortage possible shortages uh, coming up here so here's the 10 pound bags for $7.68 they have the almond flour here a little bit of a deal $12.48 $13.44 is the regular price this used to be $12.98 but people always ask about this one so I like to point this out actually I'm surprised they, they only have three boxes of it here which is very unlike it and as I'm talking I'm looking above here just to see if they have any extra and it does look like they do they've got a whole thing of it here so that's good to see but I don't see any other sugar this is pretty much all we have right here I don't see any of the members mark sugar uh, let's see, all-purpose flour, 12 pounds of uh, the uh, gold medal here, $7.78. That's an okay price, considering how expensive all the flour is getting. This is another one that is expected for the possible shortage to, shortages to come. So make sure you're well-stocked on flour. They also have the Members Mark, um, members mark flour here, 25 pounds for $10.98. Maybe not part of the plan, but hey, Hershey's Triple Chocolate, still $9.38. Get four packs of this here. If Armageddon ever comes, then it would be nice to have something sweet. One awesome thing about Sam's Club is they still do samples. This is the Hatch Chili Sausage here. 
Never tried it before. Okay, so that is absolutely delicious. I wanted to point this out here that they have an instant savings on this at the checkout. $9.97, uh, regular price $7.78. You get three pounds, $7.78 on sale. Three pounds here. Now I will say Jessica would not like this because it's, it's kind of hot. Just letting you know, uh, it's got a little bit of a heat to it. It doesn't last too long, but yeah, it's definitely got some little bit of heat to it. Now I like hot stuff. I do like stuff with a little bit of a spice. She was nice enough to give me another piece too. Absolutely fantastic, delicious. But yeah, Jessica wouldn't like this. So I did want to point out here while I was over by the uh, produce section here, they have the Zespri green kiwi for three pounds for $7.12. That's not a bad deal. However, blackberries, 18 ounce, $7.47 is pretty expensive. I gotta say, they do look good. Here they got the organic ones. I don't know, are these the same price? Well, they look exactly the same, don't they? Got the eight ounce packs of the Nature Ripe blueberries here, $4.18. Uh, it's not a bad deal. Um, some of them we saw for $2.99 at Kroger last week. I don't believe that sale is still going on. That was a great deal, I bought up one of them. Um, but yeah, 418 is an okay price. They're normally 499, I believe, at most places. So a little bit of a sale. They got the cotton candy grapes here. Look at these grapes, though. We're gonna be going over produce. We can get a lot of comments of produce just as not tasting good. Why are these all dark green? I know that's not the lighting here. It might be. Let's look. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, it's the lighting. I don't know. See, that's. The, I feel like this kind of actually hurts them. They should just like have more like natural light. I don't know how they would work that out. But nine forty-eight for three pounds cotton candy grapes is actually not that bad of a deal. Three pounds for just regular green grapes, five eighty-five makes it a dollar ninety-five a pound. We've been seeing it for two forty-nine a pound pretty much everywhere. Aldi had a deal, ninety-nine cents a pound, but I think that sale is over. And a lot of comments on grapes lately. Uh, these don't look too bad. But this is kind of my point here at Sam's Club. $2.92 for a cantaloupe is pretty expensive. I mean, this is a little teeny tiny cantaloupe here. Um, I mean, if I can hold it like that, I mean, that's pretty small. $2.92. Been this price for a while, but I don't know. I just don't feel it's worth that much. Little bit of a deal on nectarines, I guess. I still feel like it's too much for Sam's Club. And, you know, we're gonna go over these things, guys. I know a lot of people have been saying produce just has not tasted good. I can attest for the nectarines. I do not feel like they've been tasting good at all. I've tried one at Meyer, one at Kroger. They just don't, I don't know, they're very hard. Um, I even let a peach set for almost a week and it was still pretty rock solid. It was sticking to the, to the, to the giant uh, seed in the middle. And um, I don't know, here's the peaches here. The white neck or uh, yellow peaches. These are four pounds for eleven dollars and seventy-four cents. That makes them two ninety-four a pound. For Sam's Club, that is absolutely ridiculous. Eleven dollars and seventy-four cents. Two ninety-four a pound. Oh boy. Well, this ain't good, guys. Looks like all of the butternut is gone. Butternut bread is gone here at Sam's Club. Got another comment. Someone said they were having trouble finding butternut bread. Uh, we did see it at Kroger and we saw it at Walmart. So I don't know, maybe they just haven't got the truck here yet. Not really sure. Um, but look at this. Look at this sunbeam here. Wow, is this all they have really? These are the, I think I see some on the other side here. Okay, so we're good. They have the uh, sunbeam all over the place. I, well, the reason why I wanted to check here is because last year or a little, little less than a year ago, we saw sunbeam wasn't coming in anywhere. So good to see they have this. I know a lot of people out there like Sunbeam, $3.88, less than $2 a loaf. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. In lieu of events going on kind of out of our hands around the world and everything, you know, we are expecting uh, a possible wheat and grain shortage. So, you know, it may not be a bad idea. Like we said, stock up on your flour. I just, I see things that have wheat and whole grains in them and I'm like, you know, What's good ways to preserve it? You know, get yourself a bread machine. <laughs> get a bread machine, start making your own bread. I know we have a lot of people on the channel that do that. Uh, I was wanting to point this one out though because this is really good bread here. This Aunt Millie's cracked, cracked wheat and whole grain bread, $4.32 for two loaves. I feel it's an okay price, really good bread here. 
some people have left in the comments uh, expecting a shortage of bananas here in the near future. No shortage here. And they still are a dollar forty-eight for three pounds. Funny thing, it used to be a dollar fifty-two. It actually came down four cents uh, for a three-pound. Make sure you weigh these. Make sure these are three pounds. That's been a while since I've checked, but someone had mentioned that Kerry Gold went up at Sam's Club. It is ten eighty-eight. I think it was at the last time. I remember it used to be nineteen or nine ninety-eight. But I think it's been a while. But yeah, it is ten eighty-eight now. That is six four-ounce sticks of Kerry Gold butter for ten eighty-eight. So they have five pineapples here for two dollars and eighty-eight cents. Why is Walmart two dollars and eighteen or two? They went up again. They're two twenty-eight at Walmart. They were two eighteen. Two eighty-eight here. Why is that? Why? I just I don't get it. Is it just me or have apples been like tasteless lately? Now, you know, every time I get one of the smaller apples from Kroger, those have pretty good flavor. But anytime I buy like a three pound bag, they're terrible. They're terrible. Now, I, I bought a three pound bag of Gala apples. Gala is my favorite, really. I bought a three pound bag of Gala at um, Aldi for $2.99 and they were delicious. But all the ones I've been getting at Meyer, like, and I, I had one the other day, a Gala apple. And it just, it had no flavor, no taste. We have been seeing pears go for crazy expensive prices lately. They do have these five pound bags of Anjou pears uh, for $1.40 a pound, Six ninety eight here for a five pound bag. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a way better deal. I do feel like this is a little pricey for Sam's Club. This comes out to about $1.66 a pound. Um, it's $5. So $5 for three pounds. I will say I've never had an issue with Nature Fresh Farms produce. A little more expensive, but the quality is always there. Someone was asking about the big thing of Members Mark sliced cheese here. I wanted to point out our Sam's does have it in here, but you know what? We've had times where they haven't. So I would just keep an eye out on it. Maybe try to order it online if you can. Got to check. I've been hearing that Sam's Club has been putting a little bit more money on the shipping uh, of some products. So you got to watch out for that. I think that varies from state to state. They have a five pound, 160 count American cheese, American slices here, $11.87. Makes it $2.38 a pound, which is a pretty good deal. Okay, so I uh, don't know what's going on here. It looks like a lot of the different fish is missing. Are they not getting in trucks? Been hearing more and more shipments here i do see some stuff maybe they got to put put in here and maybe it got bought up i don't i don't know it just seems odd for all of this to be gone at one time so before i would have just recommended getting these if you owned a store or something i mean i don't know who would use this much cooking oil i mean you know for the price of what you're paying per pound um yeah i mean it, it could be worth it to have it let me know down in the comments if you buy some of these different cooking oils uh from sam's club one thing that has been mentioned in a couple articles that we've read is that cooking oil may be in shortage here in the upcoming months. So if that's the case, I want to do the math and uh, this might not be too bad to have in the back of your pantry there. I'm not going to go over all of the prices of these, but they are lower. Uh, probably the lowest I've ever seen some of the cooking oil here. Maybe, maybe people are reading all the ads and uh, taking heed to the message. Let's see, we got the Members Mark 2 liter here. Somebody was asking about this. The organic uh, 1478 for this one here. You may want to get up on it. Again, I'm looking above here just to make sure. And I don't see any of a lot of these. I see more of the bigger, huge restaurant size uh, oils, but not any of these more uh, fancier ones here. Here's the extra virgin olive oil. Uh, Oliveri Gold, $11.98. I know this is a popular one. Uh, let's see, they've got the avocado oil as well. This is $9.94. This is just one liter. Someone had said you weren't able to find the coconut oil at your Sam's Club. They do have it at ours here. It is $9.98 for a 56 ounce. So that's a pretty good size for less than 10 bucks. Uh, let's see, you got some Pam spray here, two pack, 12 ounce, $7.48. They have a huge thing of the Mazzola corn oil. I remember when this was gone, like uh, it's been a while, it's been almost a couple years, but I remember when uh, they just could not get this in. $30.88, uh, 
uh, for a two and a half gallon jug of it here. Wasn't this, I believe this was $27.88 the last time I saw it. It's been a while. Has this gone up a few dollars? Someone had said that they couldn't find the Mount Olive huge dill pickles at your Sam's Club. They're always low. These are super popular. And uh, again, looking above me, I don't see any extra. So this looks like this is all they have. They'll be getting this stuff back in though. This is pretty popular with Sam's Club. Maybe not as much since the price went up and it has gone up a few times over the last year, $6.34. But yeah, uh, it's always low when I come here. I'll tell you some really good ones you might wanna try though. These are the little snack size petite dill pickles here by Members Mark, 46 ounces for $3.98. Um, yeah, they're pretty good. And, and these are popular too. So here they got some red gold ketchup, two pack, 40 ounces each for $4.64. Um, it's an okay deal, but when you do the math, it's right around what you're gonna pay for the prices of what you're paying in the regular stores. The funny thing is, is we're starting to see Sam's Club carry this. Now I know some places, some of your Sam's Clubs out there have had red gold for a while. Uh, I did see this one other time, it's been months ago does look like it's starting to come back in. I know a lot of people like red gold, so just wanted to point this out. $4.64 for 80 ounces for Sam's Club? Eh, I don't know. I have to say, a lot of this stuff, you're not saving that much anymore. I mean, this is two 30-ounce things of French's mustard here. $6.48. It used to be $5.78 for both of these. $5.78. Saw it go up to $5.98. Now $6.48, so it keeps going up in price. Uh, to be fair, a 24-ounce thing of this is $3.49 at Kroger, so still a better deal. Still, I feel a little too much for Sam's Club. Here are these whole tender artichoke hearts by members, Mark, $7.34. I know a lot of people were saying they couldn't find these. Um, we always seem to have them. I don't know if they're just not as popular around here. There always seems to be a good amount of them. Still one of the best deals on Rayo's sauce here is at Sam's Club. These are $5 a piece. Now, mind you, this is the 22-ounce jar, not the 24-ounce jar. So you're getting two of the 22-ounce jars for $9.98. Still a good deal. We're always getting comments on different ramen noodles and things that you can just pack away and forget about it. Uh, one of those being the different chow mein by Nissan here. Uh, they have the eight packs, $8.88. Makes these a little over a dollar a pack, but... They are uh, anywhere from $1.25 to $1.50 a pack anywhere else. So, okay, deal. Well, y'all were right. Uh, this has gone back up in price. I know people were saying this. I was curious if ours went up. The Members Mark canned chicken breast. It is on sale. It is on sale, $12.84. This was $12.98. It had gone down. It had gone up for the longest time and then came down to $12.98 and was there for a while on sale for $12.84, but regular price. Is going to be $14.98 now, so not too surprised to see this go back up. Now we're going to look at some of these canned soups and things uh, things that are good to stock up on. Something to have on the back burner, you know, in case something happens, power goes out, or, you know, just something that you're able to stock up on that has long-term storage. Eight 19-ounce cans of Progresso chicken noodle soup, $13.62. Makes it an okay price. Now, chicken noodle has come down a little bit. 12 pack for $12.98. These were $13.42, uh, 13 I believe. I know, or no, these were $13.72. Tomato soup was $13.42. This is $12.98 now, though. So this has dropped a little bit. The days of it being a dollar a can are long over, and you know, it may be better to stock up on at Kroger or somewhere else when they have a sale for 99 cents a can. And really, the same kind of goes for all of this. The uh, regular price for the cream of chicken at Kroger is $1.50 a can. So if you buy it here, it's an eight pack of the same 10.5 ounce cans. Uh, for eight ninety eight, so that makes it a dollar thirteen a can, which is a better regular price. But again, you know, they look around. Always be on the eye out for when these cans are like ninety nine cents, like ten for ten or something. Uh, here we've got the can or the uh, cream of mushroom on sale for eight dollars and one cents. So these are actually a dollar a can. So that would be a good buy. 
we are loaded down on all this stuff right now but uh, whenever we get a pack lower i always rotate my stock and move it around that way we've always got the best dates front forward uh, here we got the members mark chicken broth this is a six pack for eight dollars and 48 cents six 32 ounce good to see these are 32 ounce things one thing i wanted to mention too we're going to check out some of the distilled white vinegar uh, we've been hearing that they have lowered a lot of the vinegar to four percent acidity and for a lot of canning a lot of people that are doing canning out there of your own products you need five percent so we've been getting comments lately that denti more seems like it has changed some of the ingredients so keep that in mind it's been a while since i've tried it so let's say no preservatives $12.18 for a six pack of the 15 ounce cans. These are $3 a can pretty much everywhere now. Uh, and at this price, it brings them down to $2.03 a can. So good deal. But we've been hearing in the comments that there have been some changes. So I don't really know if it's not too sure. I don't see any bioengineered in ingredients or anything like that in it. So it does have, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you know what has changed. I know someone had said, we've gotten a few comments on this. Someone had said it's just real watery now too. They do have their Butterfield roast beef uh, four pack can here for $15.78. A little bit of a sale, normal price, regular price, $16.78. So got a dollar off here, instant savings at the register. It's really good stuff, guys. Wanted to check out the Ice Mountain 20, or 40 packs here. 40 packs for $6.54. Uh, $7, 6 dollars at Walmart for $35 is the cheapest. The other, the next cheapest that we've seen. This is the best deal, $6.54. Not bad. Looks like they got their yellow clankstone peach halves back in in light syrup. This is a popular one here on the channel. I know a lot of people like these. Uh, it's rare that we ever see them. They must have just brought these in, $9.98. But I'll tell you what, for the price of peaches these days, uh, yeah, probably worth it. What is that? 60 ounces? 60 ounces? Okay, so this is what they carry. Their members mark distilled white vinegar. You get two bottles, two one-gallon jugs here for $5.98. And it is the 5% acidity. So if you're having trouble finding this, or I don't know if it's really started yet, but we've been hearing rumors that they're going to be lowering it to 4%, which is crazy. I don't know why they would do that. Um, maybe so that we can't can our foods. I don't, I, I don't really know. Let me, let me know down in the comments what you think about that. Why would they do that? Why? What is the reason? Also, $5.98. $3 a gallon. Um, yeah, a little cheaper than it is everywhere else, but... I uh, wanted to check out the different rice options here. $10.98 for the 12 pounds. Yeah, 12 pounds of the Ben's Original Long uh, Grain White Rice there. Now they have the Thai Hamali rice here. The Thai Jasmine Rice by Members Mark, 25 pounds for $17.98. Uh, and they have the Long Grain White Rice, 50 pound by Members Mark, $25.98 little bit of a sale on the royal basmati rice they've had this sale for a while this is the 20 pounds 1998 regular price 2078 uh the reason why i'm going over all these rice options guys because this is one of the one of the top of the list of shortages that we are supposedly going to see here in the upcoming months so good to good to check out some of the long uh items for storage here the big items for storage 1498 for the royal sona masori rice the medium grain 1498 for that and that is 20 pounds, I believe. Yeah, 20 pounds. And then they have more of the, the Thai jasmine rice here, $17.98. Really packing in the paper towels and toilet paper, though, aren't they? I mean, guys, this is insane. I guess they're saying, well, we're never going to run into a toilet paper or paper issue again. But it is literally everywhere. Paper towels have gone up consistently over the last year. Uh, a little over a year and a half ago, they were $15.98, now $19.98. Everything's gone up on toilet paper and paper towels. Still the best deal when you do the math. This is what we buy. Well, I'll tell you what, Sam's Club might not be the place to shop if you have a headache. They have all of those forklifts going, and that is really starting to get annoying. <laughs> I understand. They got to do what they got to do, but boy, it's... Ugh. Uh, let's see. <laughs> we got the... Uh, Total paper, still $22.98. Just wanted to check the price on that. Still the same size, still the same rolls. They haven't cut an inch off of the roll here. Still, everything is good. This is our favorite total paper. Uh, 
if you ask me, well worth the price these days. You're getting more, it's well worth it. So a long time viewer of ours was asking if I had seen the contractor cleanup bags here at Sam's Club. These sell like crazy. I mean, I rarely ever see them here. I'm surprised they even have them. $22.88. Yeah, it seems a little pricey at first, but it is 42 bags. And one of the big things I wanted to check out here, I've been getting a lot of comments on different like freezer storage bags. These are just the gallon storage bags, uh, which can be used for a lot of different things. $18.98 for 52 count boxes. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. And they have the 152 total bags of the gallon freezer bags. Four 38 count boxes for $17.88. That's a deal. Look at this, guys. Look at all these paper towels. They are just lined up here. I don't know. Why are they getting in this much? Is this going to be filler? Filler for some of the aisles? I don't know, but... As we turn here, we're going to check out some of the coffee sales. Not going to go over all of these because I want to go over uh, some of the things that have been going on with meat and stuff. Looks like they have McCafe 50 count here. This is something special. This is like a mix here. $21.98 down from $24.98. One thing is for sure, we are seeing less and less sales here at Sam's Club. We saw this at Meyer. Not a lot of coffee sales. Some, some okay ones, some pretty good ones actually, but... None of the Keurig pods, except for that Mick Cafe stuff, is on sale here. $42.48 for the 100 cal Folgers. $44.98 for the 100 cal Tim Hortons. I feel like that's way too much. And $39.98 for the Pike's Place and Sumatra. Pike Place. I like saying Pike's Place. Uh, $39.98. Um, that is down from about $42 regular price. It's, it's been $39.98 for a while, but again, no sales. So I guess they lowered the regular price of the Folgers Classic Roast. It was $12.98 for a while. Now it's $11.98. Uh, and this is the 43 and a half ounce, I believe, still, hopefully. 43 and a half ounces. Last year, that was 51 ounces. So that has shrinkflated over the last year. Um, a lot of the ground coffee and whole bean coffees are still the same price by Starbucks. $21.93. These are 40 ounce bags. It's an okay deal regular price of the 45 ounce thing of ground Dunkin coffee has dropped from 23.72 to 21.98 it was 21.98 on sale but i guess they decided to keep it down this is the best sale you're going to ever find on Dunkin ground coffee 45 ounces for 22 dollars okay so as we come back around past all the canned goods and coffee and all that stuff i didn't want to show they are definitely moving stuff around so I don't want to say like products are lower, but is that the reason why they're moving stuff around? Are they not getting a lot of this in? A lot of people over there by the peanuts, but show the edge here. It's a lot lower than normal. Uh, they got the hunters mix. A lot of this stuff you can't even get to. So I, I feel like they're kind of moving things around here. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, very low. This is unusually low for these peanuts here. I know these didn't get bought up over the weekend. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of strange seeing as less of this and then them seeing them move over to the other aisle. But I don't know, maybe they're moving everything. Not really sure, but we've been getting comments on this. A lot of low products at Sam's Club. So just, just pointing this out. So as most of you know, me and Jessica like Meyer chicken, but you know what would be a close second would be Members Mark chicken, $2.98 a pound. It's consistent at least. It's always $2.98 a pound. Now they do have this Georgia's Farmer's Market antibiotic free chicken, which we get comments on. Some people are saying they haven't been able to find this in a while. $3.88 a pound, but some people swear by this. Still $0.98 cents a pound for their drumsticks. I mean, that's amazing. I mean, knock on wood. They haven't gone in price. These should be $1.28 a pound for the thighs. Yes, they are. $1.28 a pound, and then these are a little more expensive, $2.98, but these are the uh, boneless thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs here. Tenderloins, I rarely see these ever here. $3.48 a pound, not too surprised. Uh, tenderloins, you know, anything that is extra work these days costs a lot more, but it's good to see they're getting them in. I haven't seen the uh, tenderloins here in a long time. Someone was asking about some of the Genio ground turkey. Wasn't sure the percent you were looking for, but the 93%, which is very lean, $16.98, same price as it's been for a long time. Used to be $15.98. Uh, two, two and a half pound containers of it here for 
that's a great deal. So the 88% ground beef, $3.98 a pound. This was $4.18 a pound not that long ago. So it's come down a little bit. Somebody left in the one of our uh, longtime viewers who likes to can their items was saying that Members Mark meat, Sam's Club meat, is some of the best to can. Good quality, I guess. So keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, they usually come in five pound packs of the hamburger here. This one right here, $19 for 4.76 pounds. Uh, we love uh, Members Mark. You know, when it comes to buying in bulk, though, I do have to say, I think I'm in agreement with Jess. I think Costco is a little better. Uh, but I don't know. This is a little tighter together. You know, it's not, it's it's more packed in. So this may be better for canning. I'm not sure. Uh, but we have had a comment on that from a longtime viewer. Also, I noticed the prime ribs. Steak sliders have gone up in price. These were four four ninety eight a pound the last time I was here. Five twenty eight a pound now. Now you can see some of them here that probably have been sitting for a while, a little bit of a cheaper price. I will say these are pretty darn good. Ugh, we've been hearing that pork was going to be going up in price. Looks like it has here at Sam's Club. Two ninety eight a pound. These were two forty eight a pound, and or no, two seventy eight a pound. But the spare rib, the baby back ribs here were two ninety eight a pound. Now three forty eight a pound. Ugh. Well, I don't know. You had that extra fifty cents a pound, and you have to buy in bulk. That price is going up pretty quickly looks like salmon is still the same price 9.98 a pound they did have a sale on this a while back for 8.98 a pound i bought some then that was a good deal uh they do have the wild sockeye salmon seven dollars off per package at register you can tell they're selling a couple of them here not a big fan of sockeye salmon but i know some of you are save seven dollars off a pack so let's see what this is they're about 33 dollars so uh be about 26 dollars four or five six seven yeah about 26 bucks. Not bad. Now, two things that I really like here at Sam's Club. One is the cod. The cod fillets, they are $8.98 a pound. Um, and they're pretty good. Pretty darn good. I mean, it's cod. You know, it's, it's good fresh cod. Uh, and then they have some of the ahi tuna steaks here. Uh, and these are $10.98 a pound. Here we got some steelhead trout. Is that still eight? Yep. $8.98 a pound there. All right, well, here we go, guys. I know I've been getting some comments on this. I wanted to check it out. $5.98 a pound now for uh, beef chuck roast. This has gone up four times in less than six months. It was $4.98 a pound, went up to $5.28 a pound. Oh, wait a minute, five times, five times. It was $4.98 a pound at the initial start of it a year ago, and we saw it go up to $5.28 a pound. Then it went up to $5.48 a pound, and then was $5.68 a pound, and now $5.98 a pound. Guys, I'm telling you, meat prices are going to be going through the roof. When you find a sale, stock up on some and freeze it, because we we know. I I'm, I could almost, I'd say 99.99999% guarantee that it's going to get even more expensive here in the upcoming months. So you find a sale, buy up a couple things that you love, just so that you're saving a little bit in the future. New York strip was $10.98 a pound, went to $11.98 a pound, and now $12.88 a pound. They're right here. And someone had mentioned that the ribeyes had gone up the USD choice, so not even the premium. $13.48 a pound. $13.48 a pound. They were $12.98 a pound, so they've gone up 50 cents. Uh, a couple months ago, they had gotten as high as $14.98 a pound, so they've actually come down a little bit, uh, but still pretty pricey for Sam's Club wanted to take a look at some of the prime cuts here to see where they're at $15.48 a pound for these strip steaks here and then these are some very tiny ribeyes $16.98 a pound for the prime this was $14.98 a pound not that long ago maybe six months ago someone was asking me about the three pounds of the organic ground beef grass-fed uh, hamburger here, 85% lean, 15% fat, $4.98 a pound. It's been this forever. Uh, and this is a three pound pack. And then they have the American Wagyu ground beef here, which is, they sell this pretty quickly. This is, uh, let's see, $5.88 per pound. That don't really sound like that bad of a deal, really. $19.52 for this three pound package. Or no, this is a, yeah, 3.32 pounds here so i don't know wagyu's usually seems more expensive than that but 588 a pound they do have their 10 pound tubes of 80 20 here this is 378 a pound 
So you're not really saving much between, you can get the higher lean for three ninety-eight a pound. So I don't know. I don't know, I would rather get the other stuff. Plus, I don't know about these two, they need to take that off. I don't know what's up with that, but I noticed they do still have some of the bigger prime steak burgers here. And these are still four ninety-eight a pound. And I don't know, they may be doing away with these. Usually they're in the other counter. They have a bunch of sales on them, so they're obviously trying to get rid of them here. Checking out some of the different cheese deals they got going on here. They've got the mild cheddar. These are all, I believe, 42 slices. Yeah, 42 slices. Uh, different kinds here. $6.98. These are two-pound bricks of sliced cheese for $6.98. So, yeah, a, a pretty good deal, I guess. It used to be a little cheaper. $7.98 regular price, though. So, $6.98 this week. And some of the different other cheeses up here. The Munster cheese, Pepper Jack. Got some pickle spears here for six dollars and twenty-nine cents for thirty-two ounces. Uh, people have been talking about deli meats and how there has been less and less at your Sam's Club. I will say they're definitely not getting in what they used to. Uh, and this is like the third or fourth time that I've been here where this has been pretty low. This is actually more than what it was the last time I was here, which is good to see, I guess, but still very low. Um, a couple years ago, when we walked into Sam's Club, I felt like this is well worth it. Nowadays, with prices going up, I don't know. Like, I tried to put myself in the shoes of everybody else uh, who would be going in there to look for a membership. And if I was going in there solely on food options, I don't think I would. And I hate saying that. It really pains me to say that. But, you know, there were a lot of things today, too, that we've been seeing kind of trends on, at least at our Sam's Club. Lot less meat choices. A lot less. Uh, the prime meat, as you saw in the video, not much there. I've been to Sam's Club where there hasn't been any. Very few choice options, and the prices are getting pretty outrageous when it comes to, like, steaks. Hamburger has stayed the same, um, and some of the other things. But like I said, even canned goods and stuff like that seem like they're starting to go up, too. We saw the canned chicken go up in price. Um, coffee, we're seeing less and less sales Second time I've been to Sam's Club in a month where I haven't seen really that good of sales. There'll be one on stuff that they never really sell much of, like that sockeye salmon for $7 off a package. That's been on sale for a while, probably because they're not selling much of it. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I, I, I hate to have such a sad ending to it here, but it is what it is. And, you know, with the prices that keep going up, it's harder and harder to justify spending the extra money on a membership for a place where their prices are going up a lot too. But thank you so much for watching. I hope it helps with all that being said, I am out, and always remember, the adventure is out there.